hello everyone here in this video i am going to show you that how you can create a notification pop-up when your product is out of stock so basically this pop-up you can see on my screen so this is showing when we i am clicking on notify me when in stock so this here you can see that we have the variant option we have the text box where we can enter the email and then we can uh, add the message and then we can click on notify me when back in stock so that means whenever we have out of stock products then we can add this kind of button so that when a customer is coming up and he has uh, he need that specific product so he can actually notify us uh, that uh, this product is in demand so the customer should able to notify the store owner that i need this product so whatever comment he wanted to add he can add into this input box so at the end i have uh, at the end once you are uh, clicking on notify me when back in stock then that form will be submitted and you will get a notification email and here you can see that we have, will have a thank you message and then you can click on done and it will be closed so basically i got a task so here was the design so the customer told me that i need this kind of design for mobile version and this kind of design where i have needed all these details and when i am actually not uh, selecting any of the field then uh, i need uh, these error messages also so somehow i created this kind of uh, pop-up so i thought that i need to share the code with you so firstly you should follow the steps and then after you can implement the same thing into your store and if you are facing any issue or something then feel free to ask me the questions i will help you out in solving that before starting the video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel so let me go to the dashboard and here you can see that I have installed prestige theme. If you have any other theme then this uh, code will definitely work because this is a common code. So right now I have already added that uh, code. So I am going to undo the changes uh, quickly and then after I will be back to uh, the starting point so that you should also uh, get the awareness that how you can follow the steps. So let me undo the changes first. I have undone all the changes now I am back to the dashboard of the store and here you can see that we have prestige theme firstly you should click on these three dots and duplicate this theme so that you should not uh, do any mistake if you are doing any mistake then you can roast uh, then you could able to restore it back to its original code so now I am going to edit on this because I have already the backup of uh, this specific theme so you should click on these three dots click on edit code and here you can see that we have some folders and files so uh, I have also the documentation so here you can see that documentation so I am going to create a new snippet and name of that snippet will be out of stock pop-up so let me click on snippets click on add a new snippet and paste that name here and then click on done so that way you will able to create an empty file and inside of this file i'm going to paste a, a code which is this one so let me copy this complete code and then after you should paste it right here i will be adding the link below in the description so you can download it and implement it into your store and then after the second step here is that uh, you should include this specific uh, um, uh, block of code which I have just now added in the snippet so basically if you according to your theme uh, you should uh, include this but uh, for this prestige theme I will have to include inside the product template so you should uh, find out here uh, product info so here we have product dash here we have product dash info so I am already interested in uh, displaying this specific block of code uh, above so, uh, sold out button so let me show you here so you should find out here the payment buttons so let me scroll it down so here you can see that we have buy buttons so just below it I am going to paste that code so which is this one so let me paste it right here and then let me click on save 
but before saving it let me undo this change and let me refresh it so that you get to know that uh, how it is reflecting earlier so here you can see that we don't have any kind of uh, notify me button if i am selecting any of the uh, out of stock product then you can see that we don't have anything right like that so now i'm going to paste it right here and then let me click on this and if i am refreshing it now you will see that the out of stock button is available here and if i'm clicking on any of other uh, swatch and this is already uh, in stock but still this is showing because i have to add a javascript code so that i have already mentioned so i need to go to theme.js so let me go to theme here we have theme.js and inside of it i need to find uh, on variant change function so basically this is handling the uh, on change uh, values of the uh, variants so when we are switching the swatch so it actually checks that uh, code and then after uh, according to the variant availability it display that button so let me copy this and let me paste it right here and then click on save all right so once the changes are saved then actually we are done so let me refresh it back and here we go now you can see that these uh, variants are already in stock so if i'm clicking on out of stock uh, variant then that specific button is displaying here and let me click on it you can see that we have everything here and if i'm clicking on this notify me when back in stock then you can see that we have error messages that means uh, this error message will, di will display when we are not inputting anything here and if i am adding here then actually it will not uh, create any kind of problem and here we have also the pro, uh, product variants uh, drop down and on the top we have the product title and here this is the text which we are interested to display as a just for the information purpose and at the end when you are submitting that form so you will get this kind of uh, message of uh, success and then you can click on done and it will be closed so let me click on done and here you can see that we have closed now so that's how you can actually implement the sam feature into your store so that you don't miss any customer because when a customer is coming up then if he needs specific products so you will get the exact information and you can target that uh, customer again and resell that product because later on when you have the available product then you can actually target that uh, product and send the email and maybe notify them so in that way you can actually sell that specific product to the customer who was looking for that product all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you're new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and also like this video i have already created a lot of useful uh, videos and there are multiple features which i have published on my youtube channel so you can follow the playlist so you can go through the channel and you will find useful content over there related to shopify so thank you so much once again see you in the next video